Welcome back to the channel. My name is Amber Peoples. I am here to show you where I get all of my clips from for all of my short form content. Ever since the, the fall of Athenoscope, I haven't really fallen in love with any of the other websites that does uh, clipping for you with the AI. So I, but I heard about OBS replay buffer. I repeat OBS replay buffer. It takes better quality clips. It gives you what you want in your own clips because you're setting the clips. It's amazing. And, and you can set the length of the clips that you like. It is an absolute amazing program. It's already in what you're using most likely to stream already. It is in OBS. So take a look at the footage. I show you how to set it up, how to set up a hotkey, where you'll find your folder to, to find your clips later on. Um, I hope it helps. If you guys want to see any more content like this from this coming from this channel, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much and have, have a great day. The first Enjoy thing you want to do is make sure that you enable your replay buffer. You just go into your settings on OBS. In your settings, you go into output. And you'll want to see here you have simple mode or advanced. Just go into advanced. You'll see you have streaming, recording, audio, and replay buffer. You go into this replay buffer. Make sure this box right here, enable replay buffer, is checked. And from there, you can put in your amount of time that you want to rec that you want it to record your clips. So you can go anywhere from 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 120 seconds to up to three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. Just a reminder, though, the amount of time that you have recording it does affect the amount of memory that you're using. And then once you do that, you'll go. Over over here to the recording of tab and up here you'll just have a standard type of recording you want to do a recording path what this does is OBS is going to take each of these individual clips and place it into a folder so you I would recommend in your videos tab you make sure you put a folder labeled OBS stream clips that way you know exactly where to find your clips at when your stream is over and then you'll go down here to audio track and this is where you want if you say you have your tracks split up in order to take out music or any of your alerts or anything like that you want to make sure that you enable the track that you wanted to record here and then down here you'll see that you have a different bit rate than what you're uh, streaming at I have mine set at 10,000 bit rate because it's a little bit higher a little crispier when recording you can go on up to 30 to 40,000 bit rate to each his own in this situation it depends on what your computer can handle and then just click apply last step is going to the general tab and you'll see under here for output I would recommend clicking this box that says automatically start replay buffer when streaming. That way you don't have to necessarily start it up every time you stream. And then just hit apply. Once you have everything enabled to, to actually take a clip, right? So you go to your hotkeys, scroll down to where it says replay buffer, and then you're going to set a hotkey uh, for whatever key you want, whether or not it's your foot pedal, a stream deck key, you know, a number pad, I use the number pad. It works best for me. That's where my hands are closest to. You set your replay key or your your replay buffer hotkey, hit apply and hit okay. And that is it. The next time that you are gaming, all you have to do is hit that hotkey. Uh, after you make a great play, it'll go right into your folder. And from that folder, you go out and use whatever video source that you use to make your clips. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. If you want to see any more how-to videos like this from the channel, feel free to go ahead and put those in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching.